Hello, this is Guillermo Leal and I'm going to be showing you some of the updates that I have done to G2's IV, which includes support for Max 2021, multi-trading for the growing of the IV, and the ability to create multiple uh, IVs without closing the GUI, a new algorithm to create the leaves and the ability to, to use uh, custom leaves meshes and a few other uh, fixes and GI tweaks. All right, let's get started. Now you have the option to grow the IV using multicore. I'm going to do a brief uh, demonstration. Just first, I'm gonna uncheck the multi trading just uh, so I have something to compare to. You can see it's, it's not that slow, but as soon as I enable multi trading, it's way faster. And this is very simple geometry, but you also benefit when using a complex geometry. Even though I don't recommend using cost, uh, heavy geometry for the growing object, as it will uh, take a while to calculate the intersections. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, let's try with a single core. Let's reduce the increase the addition and reduce the search size right. you can see that it's taking a while now let's try multi trading can see that there's a huge difference in in speed. Right. You can now draw several IVs without closing the user interface. To do so, just create it as Usual. Let's create an IV. If you create, if you want to create a new one, you just select new seat position, and he's going to ask you if you want to create a new one or keep modifying the current one. Just select yes. Pick the new seat position. That's it. You can draw as many as you want without closing the interface. Now you have the option to use a custom geometry as a leaf. For example, uh, by default, the plugin uses planes as a leaf. But you can use uh, any geometry. If you choose to use a custom geometry, I recommend that you draw it in the top viewport and you have this pivot point, point with the C pointing up. I will also recommend to draw it in one unit. Just put it in one unit and make sure it's just one on each side. You don't really have to do so, but if you do it, uh, the plugin is, is going to get the correct length scale. Alright, to use custom mesh, just select here and pick the custom mesh. Draw it. That's it. With this version, I have created a new algorithm for the creation of the leaves. 
can still use the old one. Just select all. And I mean, it works fine, but the problem is that they are rotated uh, randomly. So on certain scenes, it might not look uh, really good. So the new one, it's slower, but I think it's worth it. You can see how they adapt to the normals of the climb object. And we also have a, a few new options for this one. For example, if I uncheck the scale by age, all the leaves are going to have the same size. If you have a check, which is the default, they're going to get smaller as they get older. I mean the, the the younger and you can change the the ratio let's put if we put two here they're gonna get uh, even more small so you can see the big difference between the large leaves and the small ones and you can also let me check this you can also play with the scale Right now it randomizes from 0.9 to 1.1 but you can change this to a bigger number and you're going to have even more uh, differences. This one, it aligns the leaves to the geometry, to the climb object. So if you uncheck it, I mean, I don't see a reason why you would want to do that, but I left there the option if you want to. This uh, checkbox align to direction. What it means is that the leaves are perpendicular to the branch grow direction. I don't see any reason to uncheck these two. And the last part, uh, the rotation. It's self-explanatory like any other rotation inside Max. But I'm going to show you just to, to clarify. The C is the rotation along the growth direction. And it's randomized between 50 and 80. So 90, it will be This will be 90, basically zero. So it's just a random rotation. The Y, just to give it some uh, randomization for the lighting. And this one, it just I had it up to 15, just so it doesn't intersect with the geometry. If I have it at zero, it might intersect with the geometry of the growing object. So you can play with the defaults and just set yours. And the last thing that I want to mention is that, as you can see, all these are instances. I, we have now the, before we only had mesh and corona scatter, now we have instances, but I would recommend not to use it because you can easily create thousands of leaves and Max is going to have a very hard time. I just left it there for special occasions. And that's all for the leaves. Thanks.